So nothing is targeting OnePlus and Apple with the nothing phone one but the chances are huge they won't even come close to the Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max in this race. They had bought an Android phone by mistake and then had sought a better experience and decided to check out iPhone and iOS. See OnePlus I know is having hard time with Oxygen OS. See also OnePlus is launching so many devices like they just cannot focus on a single flagship right now. And right there nothing OS may win. But Apple is not holding back anymore. The latest iPhone 14 and iOS 16 leak shows this device will be a monster and it's gonna crush not just nothing phone one but even devices from Samsung, OnePlus and Xiaomi. That's just incredible. So here are latest CAD images of the iPhone 14 Pro Max and it shows Apple is going all out in terms of design. So Apple is trimming down the bezels. The iPhone 14 Pro Max will have 1.95 millimeter bezel size and that is almost 20% thinner than last gen device. The Samsung S22 Plus right now got the slimmest chin and side bezel and I guess 14 Pro Max will be similar if not thinner. Yeah, OnePlus, Xiaomi and nothing are not even focusing in terms of display design, so these small changes are something one should note. Shocking part is the camera module is getting huge and the sensor size is like 57% larger than that of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is a 48 megapixel sensor and again can take some high resolution images, will capture more light. This means bright low light images and of course can shoot 8K videos. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a breakthrough. Now the highlight of this device is A16 silicon and 8 gigs of RAM which is gonna annihilate any Qualcomm chipset we have right now. Yes, not to mention even A15 is way powerful than 8 Gen 1. So the A16 without any doubt is gonna be way powerful and power efficient thanks to TSMC 4 nanometer process and of course Apple knows how to optimize the software and hardware. The icing on cake is iOS 16 coming with some awesome features. So iOS 16 launch date is now official, Apple plans to launch it on June 6 and is coming with some small but main changes like Apple is working on new widgets, some interface changes in notification panel, new settings UI for wallpaper and smooth animations. The OS 16 for iPad may bring some significant changes to universal control and that is where Apple ecosystem is far superior and even Samsung after so many years cannot beat Apple's ecosystem. So nothing has a long way to go and yes I got it this is the initial step and I so hope we get a better alternative to Apple from nothing but iPhone 14, iOS 16 and Apple A16 this combination is something way way ahead in this race. This is all guys, thanks so much for watching, your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.